screen um, beside you. So my name is Fiona McCarthy and I am the Deputy Head here at St Paul's and it is myself who sort of coordinates the option choices. So this evening is for S, current S3, 4, 5 and 6 um, pupils who will be making their choices to move into the next year. So each pupil has now had an option book, book, choice booklet shared with them in their PSE classes. These option choice booklets are also available on the school app. Um, they are also going to be available on the website. We've got a new website that are, should be going live probably next week, and all these are on that and available on there as well. Um, the new website will be the same address as the old one, but I will uh, once we've got it live, we will put a notice out to parents just to let them know it's been updated. Um, however, so the op there is a number of booklets, if you like, which are available on the app that are shared as information for all parents of the pupils in S3 to S5. Um, one of them is the option choice booklet. There's also a college booklet, an Al McToom booklet and a future skills booklet. Um, in the option choice booklet, it goes through and um, shows each of the subjects that are available. Um, and gives a wee bit of a description about this subjects, but it also gives a description on the following page of how they progress in that subject, be it from NAT4 to NAT5 to higher, be it from National Progression Awards or into college and how they might progress in that subject. So all of that information is in the option choice booklets. There are lots of opportunities at Dundee and Angus College, and I'll not steal Catherine's thunder, and she will explain more about that. Um, there is also opportunities for new S5 and S6 pupils at the Al McToom Institute, and there's information on that. Most of these are higher level or HNC level courses in business, but there is also Arabic um, there as well. Um, the list of the college course, oops, sorry, speak through that there. The, the list of the college courses is also at the back of our school option choice booklet. And then once you want more detail on these college courses, that's when you would look at the college booklet. Um, the college booklet is a small A5 size booklet this year. Um, and the, you'll be able to get more in, collect one from school or look on the app to get more information there. Um, the fourth, fourth, fifth and sixth year reports will be issued on the 1st of March. So the teachers, the pupils are currently still working on their prelims at the moment um, and they finish at the end of this week and the teachers are then remarking these, putting these together into the reports and you will get their reports on the 1st of March. And those reports will make recommendations for the next level of study. So fourth years might get recommended to go into a higher course or a national progression award or a different um, level five course. Third years got their reports on the 18th of January. And in the text of their comment, there is a recommendation for their next level of study as well. OK, so the next um, pieces of information is that the pupils and their parents, if they choose to do so, will meet with the guidance teachers during February and March to discuss and agree their choices. However, it would be great if you could discuss these choices with your child at home so that when you do come to this meeting, because it usually is a 10 to 15 minute meeting, so there's not lots of time. But when you come to this meeting, you come to the meeting with some idea of what subjects they want to do. And it's really just finalising, clarifying and agreeing their option choices. The S3 who will be moving into S4 will begin the week beginning the 20th of February. So that's not next week, but the week after. Um, and then the fourth and fifth years will begin the week beginning the 1st of March once they've got their um, reports and so on after that. And there, that will go on for a couple of weeks for the new, um, the new fifth and sixth years. Um, there are a number of new subjects for next year. 
Um, we actually did Achieving Excellence in Sport this year, and that was a football-based qualification at level six. Um, and level six is equivalent to a higher level. But if they are National Progression Awards, then it means they have no exams. And what they do is they get a pass-fail in that level. Now, for some of the qualifications at university where they need a higher, then a level six qualification won't necessarily count towards it, but it certainly will count for any college course that they may go on to, and it will count for any jobs that they go, and go on to. So uh, these qualifications are definitely worthwhile considering, um, depending on where you're looking for your child to move on to, or where the child is looking to move on to after school. Another qualification that we started last year is criminology. Again, it's a National Pro Progression Award in Criminology. It ties in very neatly with their Modern Studies course. Um, and a number of pupils were looking are doing criminology and their modern studies. And again, we would be hoping to take that into a level six criminology next year. Again, we also started barista skills and customer care last year. Um, the previous year we did barista skills as a one period a week course, but this year it's running as the five periods a week and they do a customer care qualification, again, a National Progression Award at level five, and the Barista Skills Unit as well. And again, part-time jobs in Costa and Starbucks and so on um, definitely gives them the head, uh, you know, uh, gets them ahead if they have this Barista, barista Skills qualification and the customer care qualification. Um, we are hoping to start next year using the higher application of maths. We currently offer a National 5 in application of maths, um, and it didn't progress well into higher maths. So next year, they are planning to look at uh, are offering the higher application in maths, um, and that will involve them um, uh, quite a bit of statistics involved in that. Um, and actually applying their maths, and it's a very useful course as well. Maths also offer um, a National 5 numeracy along with um, per personal finance course. So for pupils who've maybe only got their National 4 and but not, you know, not feeling capable of doing the National 5 maths, then that's another option for them is to do National 5 maths and, and sorry, National 5 numeracy, along with a personal finance qualification for the five periods of maths. Um, we are looking to do an applied science as a National Progression Award at level five. Um, and that would be for the pupils who currently are probably only working at level four in their, their science subjects, biology, chemistry, and physics. So what they would do is instead of doing a National four, in those subjects, they could do a level five National Progression Award in Applied Science, and that gets them a higher level qualification. Um, and then if they feel that they've built up their skills and the teachers feel they've built up in their skills, they could then do the National Five in the biology, chemistry or physics um, the following year, if that was the, the route they would like to take. Another new qualifications is jewellery, basic techniques, which is the National Progression Award at level five, um, and that's been offered within the CDT department. And a bakery, now it actually says level five there, but it is now going to be level four. Um, there's been a slight change to that, and that's for pupils in fifth year who perhaps aren't, haven't done um, practical cookery level four, but would like to go on and do a practical cookery course in, or a bakery course in fifth year. Um, and therefore what we'll do is we'll offer it the bakery at level four for those people that have not done a home economic subject before as an introduction before they can do the practical cookery or the practical cake craft at level five. I will keep talking and we'll give you the chance to, to do, ask some questions at the end. The other thing you can do is in the chat, if you open the chat box and you wish to ask questions, you could type the questions in there and Mrs Small is manning that chat box and happy to answer questions um, when she can. OK, the next screen is just a straight list from the um, S5, S6 option choice forum with all of the different subjects that are on offer um, there. So I'll just leave that on the screen for a minute or two to let you have a look at that. Um, but it is 
on the option choice forums um, that the pupils will get. It is a free choice. Um, so what happens is the pupils are asked to choose um, the subject that they want, the level that they want, and then once all that information is gathered and brought in, then what I will do is I will then put that into columns to ensure that we can offer as much as we can of what the pupils are requesting. All pupils will set National 3, National 4 or National 5 or a National Progression Award or a higher or an advanced higher. These are the qualifications that we offer here in Scotland and the qualifications that we offer here at, in school. Um, many classes will have S4 and S5 and S6 pupils in them. Maths and English, they, they are as S4 or S5, 6 classes, but the rest of the subjects will be mixed between all three levels. Um, and have all three fourth, fifth and sixth year pupils in their classes. Some pupils study at the campus, which is Dundee and Angus College, or um, some modern languages, perhaps if we are not able to offer these, may be studied at another school, um, particularly advanced hires. Um, then things uh, that is quite a number of the advanced hires are studied in a campus format. So lots of the Dundee schools come together um, and they're going back to being at Dundee University next year and they'll go down there on a Tuesday and a Thursday afternoon um, and study their advanced hire at Dundee University. We've also got a number of adv advanced hires which are um, available online using the TRIC, which is the Tayside Collaborative Group. Um, and again, that's not just Dundee schools then, that's Dundee, Angus and Perth schools. And these pupils work online um, on those courses and are presented from the school. Where a uh, fifth or sixth year pupil has a number of national fours and fives and some hires, but not five hires, then they will have some skills for work national progression awards in their extra single period a week. So if a pupil, for instance, had two hires and three national fives, then chances are they will have some PE, RE and some sk a skills for work national progression award in one of the single periods per week. So what we've done when we've spoken to employers, they absolutely feel that these national progression awards are of worth and that they are definitely something that they, when pupils come for an interview and they're asked about them, they feel that that definitely gives them something to talk about. Currently, the types of courses that we are offering in that time is we are offering um, PC Passport, which gives them skills in word processing, spreadsheets, presentations, um, PowerPoint and so on. And so they learn these skills and they get a qualification in PC Passport. And again, if they are going on to university, that is definitely a lot of the skills that they, they can build up in there. Um, we also uh, currently offer personal finance as a single period a week course. Um, but again, if the uptake is in maths more, there might be some changes towards that. Um, and the other one is a health and wellbeing award that we are currently offer um, in the single periods a week or a leadership award. And it's these type, the leaderships and the health and wellbeing that the employers have said are definitely something that pupils are able to talk about at interview and it gives them good information about teamwork and so on. As I said, what happens is it's a free choice offer and when less than 10 pupils choose a subject, we will struggle to allow it to run here in St Paul's. A number of options are in place then. What we will do is we will either look to see if we can offer the, that subject at another school in Dundee and they can go across to another school to do that. For S4s, that's actually quite difficult for them to do because they have such a tight timetable. Once you're in fifth or sixth year, that's a bit easier for them to do and a bit more flexibility um, because not all schools operate in identical timetables. Um, so sometimes they're asked to re-choose or we'll give them different options, whether they re-choose or we look at another school um, or these types of things, depending on the numbers. Um, 
in the option choice book, uh, not booklet, the forum, you'll see that if the if it's in italics, it's an, a National Progression Award or what's called an ungraded course. So that's just show, to show you that there is no exam and it will be a pass fail course. So they either get a pass or a fail at the end of that. Um, the college and the Al McToom offer is for Monday and Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursday afternoons. So that is the bit where all schools in Dundee timetable the same to make sure that that works. Um, and the advanced hires and um, English as a second language are at Dundee and Angus College. They're usually a Tuesday and a Thursday afternoon. Um, there is also the opportunity to do not four or five Mandarin, which is offered at Grove. And again, I think that's on the Tuesday, Thursday afternoon. And we would arrange for the pupils to go across to Grove to study that, should anyone wish to do so. The bit there about practical cookery and practical cake craft um, is that you need to have done practical cookery level four to do the level five courses. And um, so bakery is an alternative for that one. Again, photography is only offered at higher level in school. It is offered at a national five level at Dundee and Angus College. Um, but the higher level is offered in school and should only be chosen if you're currently do, they're going to currently do higher art or they have already got their higher art um, because the, the courses are quite closely linked. We do offer work experience for six years as a, an option choice in the column. The pupils to source their own pay placement and they work towards a level five national progression award um, in work skills as well as work experience. And the, again, that's a full national progression award at level five. Al McToom um, offer Arabic. They offer an HNC in business and an HNC in management and leadership. Both the HNC courses will operate across all four afternoons. So that really would be a sixth year. You would be looking to, to if they were interested in, in doing that. The Arabic can be a fifth or a sixth year, and it would be on the Monday and Wednesday or the Tuesday and Thursday. We'll look and see what the uptake is for that. If you are looking to do the HNC, your fifth year must have two higher passes and a Nat 5 maths or science subject pass. It is quite intensive work and work is expected um, out with their times as well as the, the four afternoons a week. Um, just a wee bit about Dundee and Angus College because I'm not going to um, steal MD's thunder and I've actually put, I'm going to hand over to Angela, but it's not Angela, it's Catherine tonight. Um, so Dundee and Angus College have programmes at level four, level five, level six, and they have a number of foundation apprenticeships and so on and level seven. So I will now hand over to Catherine. So I will stop sharing my screen and Catherine will pick up her screen. Um, So let me just, there we go. I should be stopped sharing and Catherine, that should allow you to share. Okay, okay. Hi everyone, just bear with me a second until I get my presentation up now. Fingers crossed this works. Can everyone see that yet? Yes. Yep, perfect. So, hi, I'm Catherine Simpson. I'm one of the Academic Partnership Officers at Dundee and Angus College. It is my team that are the link between the schools and the college with a specific focus on the senior phase and post-school options. So, I'm just going to give you a little bit in detail about the college partnership. As Ms McCarthy's already says, pupils in S4, S5 and S6 can attend college as part of their school week. Classes are delivered on Monday and Wednesdays or Tuesday and Thursday afternoons and there is a booklet available with information about each course and it does go into um, quite a lot of depth about what is um, contained in the courses. When your young people come to college as part of senior phase, a daily attendance is reported back to the schools, as is a monthly progress report, which is shared with the schools as well, just so that you could see how the attendance is, the progress they're making and um, behaviour and etc. Um, for things like that. 
transport is available but obviously with the school just being round the call it, uh, corner from Kingsway campus I think the two tend to just walk there however if it was Gardine then um, they would be able to get the local transport down to this uh, campus. Senior phase is something for everybody and um, there's options for all types of learners from academic and theoretical to practical and hands-on. We've got a wide access of courses through a broad range of subjects from hair and beauty to criminology, cyber security. We've obviously got um, the trades courses as well, um, science courses, you name it, it is on the list. Um, it's ongoing assessments, so there's no um, end of year exam. It's all done through essays, observations and projects throughout the years. And courses are available at a range of levels from NAT4 right the way up through the SCQF levels. We have um, brought out a new range of courses for session 23-24 and that's just a list of them on the screen there. I'll talk you through some of them and just give you an idea of um, what's entailed in them. So the prep for plumbing and prep for electrical is courses that we have already done in previous years. However, they'll now be run over two afternoons as opposed to the four which was previous. And this is because it's found out to be more practically focused and also allows more flexibility in the school. The NPA events um, is a level six course and it goes into the organisation of events, the costing events and also how to market them. NPA Travel and Tourism um, is an introduction to tour guiding. It also goes into travel products and um, gives you a bit more depth about cabin crew. MPA Travel and Tourism at Level 6 is part of our new expanding portfolio when it comes to legal studies, so we are hoping to build on that as the years go on. Skills for Work Energy focuses on the renewable energies and contains units on solar hot water systems and domestic wind turbines. This course has been designed in relation to the emerging technologies within the Dundee area at the moment. We've also got two new PDAs at level seven, and these will suit pupils capable of level seven studies and who are interested in taking further studies in the areas of leadership and management and biological technologies. The um, NPA Applied Science covers forensic science, biology, chemistry, and part of the assessment involves producing a case report on forensic science used in real life um, cases. The Learning Outdoors is quite an exciting new programme and it is delivered jointly between our children and young people team and the sports team. It's accredited by the NCFE, who are the awarding body for all our current sports provisions. Um, and it's an interactive and practical um, course, but the pupils will spend a lot of time outdoors learning things like den building and orienteering. So if you're a bit of a cold tatty like myself and you don't like being out in the rain, that maybe isn't the course for you, but it certainly is something, you know, exciting and definitely worth thinking about. MPA Building Services at Level 5 um, builds knowledge and understanding through project based learning and introduces transferable skills like planning, communication and employability. So as I say, that's just the new ones. There is a vast list of other courses that are available on senior phase. So definitely something to think about. This is just a qualification summary. So again, it shows the vast level of um, levels that you could study at. So we've got the Skills for Work National 4 and 5s, the National Progression Awards at levels 5 and 6. We've got the Foundation Apprenticeships at level 4, 5 and 6, and then the Professional Development Awards at level 7. So why study college as part of your senior phase? It's a good way to help you prepare for life beyond school. It helps provide an insight into moving into a higher level of learning, also into an apprenticeship or into employment. It sets you ahead of your peers with the experience and knowledge that you will gain. And it, taking a college course can help you prepare for and get an insight into the world of work whilst you're still at school. So if your young person wants to find out more about senior phase, obviously speak to their guidance teacher or careers advisor, or you can contact the academic partnership team here at Dundee and Angus College. Oops. Ah, 
that's it. I knew something had to go wrong at one point in the presentation. <laughs> so there's also the foundation apprenticeships as well. Um, I think I've gone. No, I haven't. Um, so we do various foundation apprenticeships at level four construction and motor vehicle. We've got level five construction and level six as well. So when it comes to a, a foundation apprenticeships, all of them have the same basic structure, which is a combination of class based and work based learning. When it comes to level six, you have the option to study over one or two years. The level six is the same level as a higher and all of the foundation apprenticeships focus on meta skills. But further information on foundation apprenticeships can be found on the SDS website. And again, the college also has a foundation apprenticeship booklet of the frameworks that we actually use at the college. So you should be able to find out more information on that also. So just a summary on those again, the one year programmes could be offered over S4 to S6 and they comprise of a Skills for Work Award at SCQF level four or five. It contains a work based challenge unit and that's where you identify using your meta skills and you work on a creativity or team working project um, and show off the technical skills that you've aimed. It helps you develop practical skills, knowledge and understanding of employer needs through the delivery of a project. So the summary for level six, because that could be done as a two year program, it usually does start in S5. It's in class and work placement and is the same level as a higher, as I've already said. Um, this also leads to the progression at HNC at college and it can also accelerate you into a modern apprenticeship. Um, we also have articulation routes into university and depending on what subject you want to do at university, um, a foundation apprenticeship can be recognised as one of your entry subjects. And that is the end of my presentation. So thank you for listening. If you do have any questions, feel free to put it in the box. And if I can answer tonight, then I will. But if not, I will speak to the rest of the team and get the answer to you as soon as possible. Thank, thank you very much, you. Catherine. Yes, if you can stop sharing, Catherine, I will um, put up my share again um, to prepare for um, the future skills part of the, the presentation. Um, we are we ha are very, very lucky in that we have the opportunity for our pupils who are moving into fifth year um, to study using what we would call a future skills qualification at college. Um, it's a full-time course at the college, but it's a pre-apprenticeship pathway um, oh, sorry, I'm stealing all your thunder here, Graham. So before I no, say anything no, more, um, <clears throat> the, the advantages that we as a school see in is that the people stay on the school roll, they're entitled to their edu uh, education maintenance allowance and so on, should they, they wish to, to do that. Um, and they have the ability, although they attend the college full time, they will get a combination of college work, work experience, building on their literacy and numeracy. So without stealing, to keep them talking, I'm going to hand over to Graham. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just go away now, shall I? <laughs> no, no, thank you, Fiona. Now, after that extensive presentation from Dundee and Angus College, I can only talk about one course, and that's Future Skills. And in the last five years, this course has uh, had, had great success in delivering young people into potential and successful apprenticeships. Um, statistically, as we speak, we have students at college just now, 25% of the second year apprentices at college in, in electrical all came through Future Skills. It's a, a fantastic opportunity for young people that want to remain on the school role join that journey to be an, a, 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 a tradesman in construction um, and continue to uh, advance their education, just as Fiona touched on. So this year, um, the course is still under discussion between the college and Dundee City Council. Um, I'm very hopeful that it will run. So I'm, I'm going to advise schools to get young people to apply for the course. 
it may be subject to conditions going forward uh, that we, we need a certain amount of applications. So that would be my job to encourage schools to, to up that application. Um, so his, historically, kids have moved on to uh, um, jobs or, or and, and, and they don't have to get into that construction. The very fact they've done the work experience, which is a crucial part of it, uh, can lead them on to other types of employment. So uh, I have sent all the schools the application forms. I've sent all the schools the information booklet that you've kindly um, shared on your uh, screen a moment ago, Fiona. And uh, we are happy to take applications. Uh, I would advise, as I would advise anybody, to maybe have a backup. I'm sure the, your guidance teachers are... Um, telling young people that not, not to put all their eggs in one basket, uh, give their, keep their options open, think about more than just one thing. But uh, the success rate of Future Skills College has been uh, quite, in my book, quite spectacular. And this particular, this present year we have at the moment, I am so proud of the attendance levels. We are, we are running at the in, in plumbing, for example, we are almost nudging 100% attendance and we're halfway through the course, which I find is, is absolutely stunning. Um, so it, it's a, a fabulous course. I am really hopeful that it runs next year and uh, I'm relying on schools to, to back this up by, by getting young people that want to continue their education and take a stepping stone into potential apprenticeships and future employment in, in the Dundee and Angus area. Um, Fiona, I've not got a lot to say. I think I think I've said it all. You your little uh, I've not got a, a presentation because there's well, so I many courses at the college. I'm talking about one course. I hope I've got the message over, and I hope all the guests here tonight uh, will be able to contact you and and get further information. And of course, you can pass it on to me, and I'm happy to dialogue directly with parents. Uh, pupils or guidance staff uh, to 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 promote this course uh, as best as I can. Yep, thank you very much, Graham. And yes, as 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 a, a you know a deputy here in the school, I would certainly recommend it for fifth and sixth years who are maybe not quite ready to go on to a full time college course um, or or that sort of thing, but do want the wraparound support of the college and a bit of work experience. Um, and the, the literacy and numeracy qualifications. Yeah. So certainly I would be recommending that to ours. The areas that are, as, as Graham said, in plumbing, electrical and joinery. Um, we used to have early education and childcare, but it's not going to be available for next year. So it's just the three areas yeah. that we would be looking at for folk who are maybe looking to go into a trade, but just to get them that wee bit more um, growing up, if you like, and ready sure. in preparation yeah. for the apprenticeship. Uh, and just to finish off, Fiona, compared to other, other college courses, this course guarantees you a work placement for not just a week or a day, it's every Wednesday for the whole duration of the course. And that that is a, is a major factor in young people getting to know a company, a company getting to know them, and ultimately gaining an apprenticeship is, is a unique um, set up. So I'm sure uh, there, there'll be lots of young people throughout Dundee that would take take great advantage of that. Thank you, Graham. You're welcome. Okay. So Skills Development Scotland, which is the, the, the name for career service, they were unable to join us tonight, but they are available in the school every day. They have offices in the school library. Um, but the pupils, if they would like an appointment with their um, careers officer, speak to their guidance teacher and the career, you know, that gets put into place. Career, the careers officers, SDS officers have been very good at supporting pupils who are doing college applications for full time courses. As And uh, however, they, they, they can support um, with more information about the school based courses, as can guidance staff. Looking through the chat, I can see there was a fair bit of questions about the app, and so um, I will get Kirsty to explain a wee bit more about that in a moment. Um, the other question was about open days at Dundee or other universities in Duncan and Jordanston. Where we get the information from that, usually it's Twitter and we retweet it, so it is always good to follow at St Paul's Dundee on Twitter and the information is there. 
guidance teachers will also share that information throughout the year with their fifth and sixth years uh, uh, as they get, they get that information as well. Um, so I'll pass over to Kirsty and then we can open up for other questions. Kirsty? Hi, sorry, a bit of a delay there. So I've already put in the chat and the side panel there two links. So depending on whether you have an Android phone, which tends to be basically anything other than an iPhone, um, you go into Google Play Store. So the link is straight there that takes you to that app. The same is there for the iPhone. Once you go into that, the app is, uh, best way to probably do this would be to show you, um, a green icon. And it wasn't prepared for this, so I'm just going to show you my phone and hope that no messages come up. I'll take the unblur off. So basically, once you go into the app, it will ask you for the name of the school. So just give me two seconds to unblur. Um, you start to type in the name of the school, St Paul's, and our will just it'll eventually appear. OK, so that should be a bit clearer now. So I'm just trying to raise things up here. So at the bottom of the screen of the app, you've got a number of options down here at the bottom, which gives you the home page. There's a diary page and sorry, the screen's gone off. There's messages, news and information. Within that, we have links to our Twitter page as well. The best advice I would give to you is to go on and play around with it. You can't do anything to break it. It's all controlled at our end, so don't worry about anything. The information section is very useful. If we click on that, there's a number of links that we have to various websites uh, for parent pay, for SQA timetables, um, for bus timetables, for food, lunch, to phone the school, to contact the school, and it does all these things automatically. Basically, all the general questions that probably come through to the office on a daily basis, you know, school holiday times and so on. So that is useful. When people were asking as well about open days, generally any information that we get to us as a school, we will post up into the school app. But as the school app also links to Twitter, it will come through on the Twitter feed as well. OK, so anything on Twitter will appear onto the app. Um, there's also a messages section. And again, most of these will go out through the school app, um, but also goes out through the school email system as well. It's just another way to try and capture all. Um, the only thing I would say is to just take a bit of time to make sure refreshing. Um, if we send through messages, we do always prompt a notification, but I would always drag the screen down now and again to see if there's a refresh. Currently, we have over 2,500 users on the school app, so it does work. It is useful, um, and a lot of parents have talked about that they like the live links and things that come through. OK, if anybody needs any sort of help on downloading that or that, not got a problem. If you want to phone the school, happy to talk people through it on the phone. Um, OK, thanks. Another question came in about parents receiving an invitation to attend the choices meeting and um, guidance staff usually have wee slips that they give to the pupils with appointment times. I know that Mr Riley spoke to me about um, possibly looking at a booking system using something similar to the um, the the parents night booking system but he hasn't spoken to me about it again so i don't know whether he was try he was going to trial that just for his own um, and yeah. so i don't know whether that's going ahead or not i think what has happened as well so some parents have been very quick off the mark and some of the carers in getting back with course choice sheets so what they said is if the course choice sheet has been returned what they will do is maybe just phone the parent when the child's there to say, look, this is what they've decided. Are you still OK with what you've signed off? Um, because when you do get the course choice sheet, there is a part where a parent or carer signature is required to say that you've agreed that with them, you're happy with their choices. Um, so, yes, you can come in if you like. However, it's not required, um, but it's handy as well if you do have extra information. Yet the choices meeting can be in person. Um, but again, Marie, if you want to do it by the phone, if that's an issue, I'm sure they can phone you while they're having that meeting. OK. OK, thank you. Um, if, is there any other questions? Please feel free now at this point to put your mic off and or mic on rather. If you want to ask a question, you would prefer to ask it in person rather than um, than putting a note in the chat. Hello. Hi. I'm just wanting to ask a quick question. Uh, uh -huh. Obviously, in respect of Olivia, she's 
not the greatest fan of school. So she's no idea what she wants to choose. She's no idea what she wants to do. Um, I'm going to, I thought about emailing Miss Onska just to say, can we have like a meeting to discuss it? I know that the life skills has been discussed as an option for Olivia, which is probably the most positive move forward. Um, I think potentially a different setting um, may work better for her. It may not, but I guess it's trial and error. So I'm going, I think, Kirsty, me and you had a conversation previously about that, um, just about the time where she can come, like leave school to pursue that. So the life skills course is usually they'll do a block of one or two days a week for about five weeks during their fourth year. And, yeah. you know, if that they might do that twice in the year, sometimes they do it once. If everything goes OK, then they can then go move on to the life skills course at the end of S4. Um, but that will vary. That's very much an individualised programme that we would yeah. agree with individual pupils. Yeah, so that's fine. So it is there is a, like a transition then set up for fourth year. I think what the problem was was Ebony missed hers because of COVID. So I don't think there was a transition the same for Ebony. So she kind of just went straight into like the first year. I think she maybe ended up getting two days that were kind of brought in, um, co-opted in, but just but just because there hadn't been the same transition program as there had been because of COVID. So yeah, that, no, th so there is a full transition program back in place. Right, OK, that's perfect. Thank you. Has anybody else got any other questions? Miss Raffle, you're on mute, if you can unmute. Sorry, that's me. <laughs> um, I've just remembered that this was happening. Um, I printed off the booklets that we got through the email. OK, but I just kind of seem to get loose to look at them at all. Right. You, just, okay. you will have discussion with his guidance teacher and right. um, if you've just recently joined this what we are recording it and I will send an email to all the parents okay. with the recording link so that they can then access it at their leisure and and have a look at um, the different things that are available there um, but yeah. he will be discussing it with his guidance teacher and he will get the chance to do that um, in That's, his PSE classes and yeah. individually. Cause I just end up having a fight with them, trying to get them, because I'm not sure. Well, I can't hear you, Mrs. Small. It's okay. I'm just saying you're not mm. the only person or parent to have come forward and said that. It's okay. It is. It is sometimes. Um, I would say that to all parents and carers online. It can be a clash of minds. Um, sometimes it's what one person wants to do and what, what parents are trying to guide them towards. But that's why we're also here to kind of yeah. give that educational and pastoral advice I mean, as well. He was speaking about paleontology a couple of years ago, but he didn't manage chemistry. Um, he's really struggled with chemistry, so but he's seemingly doing well in his computer and his music. So I'm sort of trying to guide him to maybe do something with computers and stuff like that, because he's constantly on his computer. He knows a hundred times more than what I know. But I was sort of saying... It's like yeah. not to not to always worry, and you know there's different pathways to get there. And I think we're we're now a long, long way away from like the generation, whereas that would be a direct to university route and so on. There is yeah. different routes that you can take to get there. And what you do often find as well is when they start to go on those different routes, actually they go off at a totally different tangent. Yeah. Um, so again, that's probably more of an individualised thing. But happy to follow that through with you, um, and Mrs. Yeah. Onsker, if you want. The other thing yeah. I would say is that. There is a three year programme, fourth, fifth and sixth year is three years and they can start on, as, as Kirsty says, on one route and end up going off on a different route because what they had in their head planned, you know, at the end of third yeah. year has completely but, changed. And so, do you know, it is that you can go wide, you can go narrow, you can, you know, you have lots of different routes through. I, I sort of try and have the conversation what I'm like, what do you want to do when you leave school? I don't know. And lots of children yeah. don't know. It's very common, though. <laughs> oh, it's but like, even, well, you, you know, what we what we try to say is instead of coming with what you want to do and come up with something as specific as a paleontologist, is, yeah. do you know, do you see yourself at college? Do you see yourself well, at university? Do you see yourself working with your hands? Do you see yourself working it was, outside? It's these it was, types of yeah. questions are probably but more appropriate. It was him that come away with the paleontology. <laughs> I, I was like, 
I know he likes dinosaurs and things like that. He's <laughs> mad on the films and stuff. But I was like, right, okay. And we looked it up. We come down to the school and they were doing that programme where they can get jobs, find a job that suits them. Yep. And he was adamant in that. But now he's like this YouTube thing. Um, he does his... He's got his own group. But they're called The Crew. Um, they make their own videos and stuff like that. There's about five of them. But so I'm the like, digital well, media it? course um, yeah. that we offer and the um, computer games course are probably two courses that would be of interest to him. Yeah, well, he's doing the game in one just now, the game design course. He's done that this year. Um... <laughs> I just had a message from my friend. Um, but as I say, I was just... It was going over my head and I'm like, yes. just panic. So what, what I would say is like the level, so the, the, you could be doing the level five games course this year. Yes. You can do the level six next year. Kirsty's put a link into the chat into My World of Work, which is a, a, a Skills Development Scotland website that's really, really useful that shows you what qualifications are needed for different jobs um, and yeah. gives you lots of advice um, and different things for um the, you know, the, the, from there. So that's worth looking at as well. Um, Alexandra's asked about a possibility to discuss a work placement offer for S4. So the current third years will be doing a work placement um, in, is it the end of May, beginning of June, Christine? May, I'm just double checking because we were looking at the dates for that the other day, but there's May. So these um, forms should be coming home. What we would say is we absolutely encourage people to organise their own work placements. It makes things a lot easier and quicker because there's fewer and fewer employers on the list every year. So to avoid your child not having an opportunity and if you know exactly what they're wanting to do, um, we have encouraged them to try and organise their own. Again, guidance are doing that currently right now through PSE. Um, and if you give me two seconds while I'm trying to just talk through this, I'm trying to go through the school app. Uh, to see um, when so I'll, I'll, I'll speak while Kirsty's looking for those dates. But yes, so the, the, the all, all current third years will be offered a work placement as they move into S4. And um, there it's not an option for them to choose work placement as a column choice. However, again, if there is a particular individualised programme that we would need to put in for a child, then please discuss that with your guidance teacher in house head. So over so, to Kirsty for the dates. <laughs> yep. Uh, so it's beginning Monday, the 22nd of May. So that will kind of lead us up into the new timetable going into fourth year. So it's pretty much their last year of S3 that they will do that. But as I said, the information will be coming out to you um, and guidance are looking at um, organising that just now. And they've begun discussions with the pupils and there will be a talk held as well in school. Um, we are a link with the authority that helps to manage this. Uh, will come in to talk with the pupils as well. OK, so is there any more questions? Oh, it's a one week placement, Alexandra. Yes. yes. The other any thing more? we should say is if, if there was a place that you could organise, but it can't be specifically on that week, we could have a, a one to one discussion if somebody needs to do it, say it's the week after and somebody can offer that for you. But generally it's it's that one week we put aside for school. OK, can so is there any? Two yeah. quick questions. So um, the first one being, is it still going to be kind of the same just because I've obviously been through the process with Ebony that, I've, that such support is needed that it won't be, it couldn't be supported like moving on. So into like fifth year. So if there's like such support needed for in the exams, um, because obviously Olivia would need a lot of support. Um, is that still the same kind of criteria? Is that still the same guidance that, that is followed currently? Yes, so there is assessment arrangements that if they've had assessment arrangements current third year, then these are on offer. They continue into fourth year and fifth and sixth year. And if then we discover other people who need assessment arrangements in their exams, then these get added as well. Um, so, um, yeah, it's that again. It's more to kind of prepare her just for, I mean, I, what, I, what we've done is looked at the report and, I, you know, I think because she's unsure of what she wants to do, the best thing to do really at this moment in time is just look at where her strengths are and what classes that she has the best yeah. relationship with the teacher because you'll both be probably aware when she's got a good relationship with the teacher, it all goes much smoother, um, you know, so she gives more in the class as you know and i think that's kind of why she's probably doing better in those classes than other ones um, 
And that's yeah. the best third and fourth year choices. Absolutely. Where are their strengths yeah. and take their strengths forward? Because there's so many children at that age don't know what they want to do. So you're keeping a wide choice and taking forward in their strengths. And is it okay, the second question was, is it okay if you've got work placement for your child because she doesn't really know what she wants to do at your, like your own work? So where I work sort of thing at Dundee Law yes. Centre, would that yes, be okay? Yes, absolutely, that's oh. fine. What I would say as well as to any parents out there, if you're organising, as I said, there is information coming home, but there is information that has to get passed on to whoever that employer is that you organise it with, even if it's your own, where they have to complete um, a like sort of basic risk assessment just for them going out. But again, we'll put that all out. It'll also come out through the school app. Yeah. OK, <laughs> thank you. Any other questions? Hi, um, sorry, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yeah. hear you. Yeah, do you know, it's just I've got headphones on. I'm trying to drown out the, the noise in my house. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry if this is, again, a personal question. So if anybody needs, if I need to speak to a guidance or that on their own, then so be it. I don't want to take up anybody's time. Um, my son's report came back from, like, his physics. He's going to be to go to S4. And it came back that maybe the course choice for him would be is it the applied sciences? So, it was, so it's like an ongoing assessment. You know that one. Is, is that what it's, I'm unsure if that's what it's called. Um, so instead of being physics na national five, it would be the one where there's an ongoing assessment. The so applied not, science, yes. Is that so right? The, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So my question is going from that is, is that still quite a good? qualification to get do you know or should he try for no. national four or I don't I'm, I'm unsure of we, we, I just want him to get the we're best probably get, not going sense. to offer national four sciences so national right. four okay. biology okay. chemistry okay. physics okay. we're yeah, going yeah. to go for the applied science which offers you a unit in biology a unit in chemistry and a unit in physics so it gives Fab. you a unit across all of the sciences uh -huh. and it gives them just that wee bit more time to to identify their strengths and where they would take that and forward where they are. yeah definitely and is that the equivalent to a national five it's the is equivalent the to a national five uh, and that would be recognized, from further, it, it would recognized from further education as a national Perfect. five recognized from further education as a national five that's that's where yeah that's where i was i was a bit worried you know how sometimes you could apply to certain colleges certain um universities and stuff and they might say oh no that's not the same as i just wondered if that was definitely the same as i think that's a really fantastic group for children to go down um young people to go down if you know if they're not going to fall into the national five route of their science that they've chosen previous so yeah yes. that's fantastic so i was just double checking that that was the case yeah no problem we also have another science course called laboratory skills and that mm -hmm. is much more of a practical science course mm -hmm. that looks at more experiments across all the three Absolutely. areas as well yeah and so that's another one that that's it's a level five course that would it's very valuable Perfect. to Listen, thanks so much for doing this tonight as well. We appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Um, okay, Lorraine has asked about if you don't take, you know, because obviously in third year, currently they have eight subjects and they have to take that down to six into fourth year. So they can't take everything forward. And there might, I could imagine that uh, Luke is doing well in all eight. And therefore, should they want to then take that into fifth year or sixth year, they can then pick those subjects up again in fifth or sixth year. As far as the work placement in a different council, that is not a problem if you just fill out the forum um, with where it is. Um, and so that the, the, when we get the forum back, we pass that on to the work experience coordinator and he then double checks the insurance and health and safety procedures, as Miss McFarlane has put in her response there as well. So thank you. Any other questions? Sorry, it's not a question. It's actually just a note. Um, I noticed on the Choices booklet, you talked about modern apprenticeships and stuff like that. So my work is actually looking at modern apprentice apprentices at the moment. Um, so that would be kind of, I suppose, it would be like business and administration. Um, and that would be the strengths that they'd be looking to work on. Um, so that's what the... That I don't know if you have like set places that you go or like, whether you do it on like campus or anything, but if it was like outsourcing it to businesses, etc., for them to get their MA, um, it's you know, it would obviously give them exposure to the world of legal as well. So, you know, if they're thinking about later on life going, you know, down the route like the crazy people do doing an LLB, um, so yeah, it was just to kind of bear that in mind. Yeah, so we do encourage, there's a number of people who have gone on and done modern apprenticeships and left school to do that, and we would certainly support and encourage them to do that. Um, the apprenticeship.scot website is absolutely, I think, fantastic. As a parent who's got a child doing a modern apprenticeship, um, 
And I think that's certainly something that, you know, the good to, good to use that website and um, just take that forward. Um, and if there are opportunities, we, would, we do highlight them to the pupils. Yeah. Any other questions? No, we've answered quite a bit in the chat. Um, I think most people are um, happy with the information that we've shared. Again, if you do have a question and don't really want to do it in front of 40 other people on the screen, that's completely understandable. Um, please feel free to phone the school and either ask for myself or Mrs Small or Mrs McFarlane if you want to speak to the house head directly or their guidance teacher. And we will happily um, give you any further information that you need. Um, as I say, we will take the recording of this and um, save it and be able to then share it with all the parents who haven't managed to attend tonight. So you'll get that as a link through the email system um, as we do at the moment. Um, sorry. Thank you, Miss um, so McFarlane. You got in there first before me. I was trying to type that up quickly. Yep, there's the link for apprenticeship. Computer slow at this side. Um, so yes, if there's um, anything that you um anything that you want please just contact the school but thank you very much for joining tonight um it's much appreciated and i hope we've given you at least a flavor of how things will work for your children in the next few weeks up to the easter holidays okay thank you thank Thanks you for your time thank you bye thank you bye thank you